4.2 billion people in the world do not use the internet. In the US, 51 million people don't know how to use the internet, and that's just a little bit more than Tanzania and just a little bit less than Vietnam. Our belief is a world where everyone benefits from digital, and it's not about digital skills per se, it's about the change in people's lives once they have that platform. It's really important to understand that digital exclusion exacerbates the other exclusions that people experience. The first one million people we helped in a digital inclusion project, not an employment project, a digital inclusion project, then we found that 84,000 of them went from long-term unemployment into employment. The cost saving for the government after the first year of those people being in work is 678 million pounds. Our model is local and digital, and I think this is a massive message for you guys. Um, it's a blend of face-to-face -face support and online tools. This is about you know, women being able to talk to the, their, their children's teacher for, for, the, for the first time and their children are teenagers. It's about a homeless man who is now helping other homeless people to find work and to get off the streets. This is real, deep challenges that people who are digitally excluded are suffering and that by giving them these skills and giving them the support to use it and then really changes their lives. So that still means that 38% of people didn't even vote and voting is the, the thing that people are most likely to do with any kind of political engagement. Too often in my experience the civic tech world say I have a tool that can fix that, oh by the way what was the problem? You know? And I think a lot of you yesterday weren't talking in that way which is great but actually too often it's like let's run away and build some, oh we've got some tech that could help with that without actually really botting out what the problem is and unless you've been to the you know, your equivalent of the fish and chip shop and you've talked to those people who know absolutely nothing about a single thing that you're talking about, then you can work out what the real problem is and what the tool is that needs to be fixed. So often, the great success stories around civic tech in the UK are for Theo, my younger son. It's for the people who care about politics and who are very digitally literate and I don't mean just those people who can put an attachment on an email. But also they need to do um, democracy differently, they need to want to care, they need to get up every morning and say why are these people, why do 38% of the population not vote? Why do 95% of the people I represent never contact me? They're the questions that politicians really need to be asking. Digital can help but it's not a silver bullet. It needs systems and partnerships and culture change. Real change can happen through co-creation that involves those in power but also those with the least power and those people with the least power are most likely to be digitally excluded. So you need to go and find them in that blend of offline and online. And don't forget the 4.2 billion because otherwise you will be leaving them behind.